In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of what I call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program, known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the Mighty One, Angel Snow No. 7. I am also your soul brother number one I'm sort of sad right now sort of upset because it's a hell of a thing when somebody wants you dead I have not done anything to none of these people on social media. I have not done anything to no one in my life. I have not. If I did, I would tell you. I am not the type of person that seeks trouble. But I am one of those types of person it seems as though trouble finds me. I was just trying to seek a career in entertainment. That's all I was trying to do. And then I met the wrong person and this person caused me to end up in a place that took 10 years of my life. There are people who have committed murder, manslaughter, and other evils who never served as long as I did for what somebody said they think I'm going to do. Because I did not do anything but I suffered for 10 years because somebody said, I think he's going to do this. Not because I've done it. Because we are, we, we are making assumptions. We think that he might do. And what do you base your thinking on? Is there a criminal record? What do you think? There's nothing that you base your thinking on your assumptions there's nothing like so like there are so many silly people when they get angry at you they want to call you gay and a homosexual which if you are gay or, or homosexual so what but of course they are saying this to try to bring you shame to to make mockery. But do you see me with a man? No. Have you seen me kiss a man? No. Hold hands with a man? No. You saw me do nothing with a man. You saw me do nothing with a woman. In case she's called, they're calling you a lesbian. Have you seen this person with another woman? Hold another woman's hand or anything to that effect no so in this world we are surrounded by people and I don't even want to call them people the uh, religious folks is appropriate for coming up with the word demon and devils and the wicked because that's who you're dealing with why would you, if nobody done anything to you, I understand if somebody caused you harm. The black man and woman in America, we are justified. Calling the white man or the racist people of this country, we are justified. Calling them devils. And the history verifies that they have done some wicked and continue to do evil and wicked things to us. 
even to this day. We don't have to go back a long, long time ago. Matter of fact, just using my own personal example, that was not a long, long time ago. You have people in your family jealous and envy. And they want to see you dead. They want to see you dead because they wish they were you. They wish they had what you got. All kinds of reasons. They want you to be their slave. Oh, since you will not bow down to me, you need to be dead. I can't even imagine how Brother Malcolm X felt when they began to call for his death. That's just like sitting on death row. At least on death row, you know when your execution date is coming. But for poor brother Malcolm, he had no idea. That is a very stressful thing to live in an environment when people are seeking your death. Mm. Now, what is ironic is many of these people or these demons, they want to claim to be peace lovers and loving and caring and all this, I'm your brother, I'm your sister. No, that's how they get you caught up with this fake brotherhood, this fake love. If I'm a man and I like a woman, then most times you see men who like women, they don't look at her and try to find all her faults and try to make mockery of her. When a man loves a woman, he puts on the best show that he can and the same thing with a woman she wants to smell good she shows the little cleavage in her legs and she talks very very low and she smiles and you put on you put on your best behavior because you want to attract that person now if you don't want somebody or you don't want that person to be attracted to you then you don't give a damn then you do whatever. I don't care if you don't like me or not. You ain't my man. You're not my woman. So you put on who you really are. For those of whom you're trying to love, those of whom you're trying to get with, you're going to put on, put on your best. You want to wear your best clothes, talk the best that you can. And this is what I don't understand. There are those. And see, when I make a video like this, they don't show up. But there are those who claim they believe in, the, in a God. There are those who claim to believe in God. There are those who claim and they teach me and they tell us that God is merciful, God is loving. And these people tell you, I am your brother, I am your sister. This is what they tell us. And they smile. And they put on this persona as though that is really what they are. Until you tell them, I don't like you. You ever, you ever seen a little boy, a little girl get into it? And the little boy likes the little girl? And you know he really do like the little girl. But for some reason, the little girl does not like him like that. And he gets angry. Then he starts making mockery of the little girl. And then he tells this lie, I never liked you to begin with. What's up there, Brother Michael? 
I never liked you to begin with, which is an outright lie. Because if you, if you did not like this little girl, why did you get all in her face to begin with? So you have people that might come to your page, they come to my pages, they are believers, these are believers in God. Who's supposed to represent love. Your brothers and sisters. A merciful God. A peaceful God. And what do they do? When they come to my channel. You actually have people. These demons. They come to my channel. And maybe yours. And they wish death on you. I hope you wreck that truck. I hope you have an accident. What did I do to these people? Did I steal from them? Did I molest their child? Did I kick their dog? What did I do? I did not do anything to these people except reject their ideology. I question their belief system. That's the only thing I've done. And then the real them comes out. I hope you wreck that truck. I want you to crash. I want you dead. If you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to go to hell. They want something tragic to happen to you. Some of them even tried to be nice about it. Well, you know, it's 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 not what I'm it's not what I'm saying to the Bible, according to the Quran or whatever. You don't believe in Allah, you don't believe in Jesus, you don't believe in God. You're going to hell or you're going to be punished in some kind of manner. They, they threaten you with bodily harm. Now going back to the story that I just told about men who want to try to get, or women trying to get with a certain person they like, you put on your best. If you truly want somebody to believe in your God or a law or whatever you think that you should always try to put on your best instead of these threats and wishing death see you they think they can scare people with death and bullying and their threats I would rather be dead then bow down to you bastards. I will never bow down to y'all fake hypocrites. You demons. You are not peaceful. You are not loving. You are not caring. You're not a brother. You're not a sister. You're not, none of these things. Bunch of hypocritical pieces of trash liars. You after something. Just like a woman or even a man must be careful when a person trying to talk with, with you, they use the word love, brother and sister, to get over on you so you can put down your guard. Next thing you know, you in love with this woman, she done stole all your money out your bank account. Next thing you know, sister, you pregnant with three children and this guy gone. They want you, they want you to be easy. They don't want you to question nothing. They just want you to, to accept, be an easy target, be an easy victim for their, for their personal wants or they are looking for you to be put on the same plantation 
as they are as the slave. So, ain't it, Brother Gary? <clears throat> you don't have to worry about that when you come to this channel, because I don't do that. You have never heard me wish death on nobody because they disagree or don't like me. You never heard me do that. I wish you the best. I do not wish you the worst. Even though I might feel you're going down the wrong path. That you're going down a road to nowhere. You never heard me say, <laughs> you're going to die for that. You're going to go to hell. You're going to, this great punishment. Well, now some may say, from this platform, I always talk about the mass graves. And I always talk about the executions by these races. That's not a threat by me. I'm telling you about a possibility. It's not a threat. It's not trying to put fear in your heart. I'm telling you about tr trusting a people and clearly you just ignore their history. You don't know how nefarious, you don't know how diabolical these people are. You might trust them. I do not trust these people. I live with them and their mentality for 10 years. You have no idea of what these people are capable of doing. I saw people legally murdered. Legally murdered. You might not know what that is. No investigation. No nothing. These people family took these people word for whatever happened. And I know because I saw it with my own eyes these people were legally murdered. And you could do that in jail and prison. Who knows how many people are legally murdered in nursing homes and mental institutions and jails and prisons. No questions. No inquiry. Especially if you don't have a family. The only reason I believe and I must say believe, because I don't know. The only reason why I'm talking to you today is because I was lucky to have a little bit of family that was able to keep an eye on me while I was locked up. And I told them, if something should happen to me, you make sure there's an autopsy and you make sure that, that my death is investigated as the best that you can cuz i cuz they murdered me that's what i told them and i told them bastards you thinking about trying to kill me up in this joint you can do that and get away with it but i already told my family and unfortunately also <laughs> unfortunately I had to tell my family too. A death like mine, if it's proven, a court can award you a lot of money. You know, unfortunately, you know, you're supposed to love your family member, but I had to re remind them just to give them a little bit of, you know, <laughs> You can sue these bastards and get paid because I was murdered. They know I wasn't taking that, that medicine. But so again, here we are. I don't understand these people who talk about they so loving and caring and I'm your brother and your and sister then they turn around and wish you dead you
you have people who have done you wrong. 1,000% per done you wrong. And they wish you dead because you complain about you did me wrong because they don't want to hear about it. They wish you dead because they don't want you running around and maybe you might warn somebody else about them. And they wish you dead. Hey, now check this out. To all those who run around here wishing people dead, I want to remind you of something. Guess what? Hey, guess what? You can wish me dead, but guess what? <laughs> hey. hey, guess what? You want to wish me dead? Guess what? You're going to be right after me. Because guess what? We are going to be dead one day. So whether it's now or later, it makes no difference. You might be happy that I'm dead and gone. Look at the nation of Islam. We want Malcolm X dead. He deserved death. So what was the benefit? Okay, you shot Malcolm down. An unarmed man in front of his wife and children. These are the loving, the caring people. Remember, Islam means peace. We love you, brother and sister. To my knowledge, Malcolm X was a black man. Malcolm X was considered the black man as God. Uh, Malcolm X was a black man. He was God. They had no problem killing him. So, what was the benefit? What was the benefit? Okay, you felt good about it. Malcolm is dead. But what was the benefit? You actually made things worse for yourself. Even to this day, the nation of Islam, whether it's Farrakhan or anybody perpetrating to be the nation of Islam, they have to deal with the death of Malcolm X. Right now to this day. Because he did not deserve to die like that. Also, you tarnish your own reputation because you claim to be peace lovers. Oh, we love and we care. Oh, the brothers and the sisters. Uh, want a bean pie, my brother? Want a fish sandwich? Our fish sandwich is better than Popeye chicken sandwich. Hot and spicy. <laughs> now look at them. All those affiliated with the nation of Islam. Running around with their, like a chicken with their head cut off, trying to explain. We didn't do nothing to Malcolm. We didn't, we didn't do nothing. Did not you, did not the nation of Islam cry and ask in the public? It's not like you was even hiding. You was in the public. We want Malcolm X dead. You should be proud of it. Now, I don't expect you to be stupid enough to admit and confess that you've done it. That would be stupid. But here you are. We didn't do it. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't do it. What was the benefit? There was no benefit. You killed a man that had great potential to do a lot for the people that you claim that you love. Cause, cause you mad. You want me dead cause you mad cause I reject your Jesus and your Allah and all these other gods and spirituality. Because I view it as hypocritical, I view it as powerless and a bunch of nonsense. Right before I came to my live stream, I was watching a sister and spirituality 
is no different than religion. It's the same kind of stuff. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato, same stuff. She's on her channel talking about the spiritual side of the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> really? And she has she has over 300 some people in her chat room. And she gets thousands and thousands of views. And she's on her channel talking about a chicken sandwich. How to how to de she's decoding the science behind a chicken sandwich. <laughs> and and and, and y'all really want me to get with this kind of stuff. Really? You're corny ass, powerless as ass gods. You keep telling me God do this and God do that. You can't show me not one example, not one, where you did a damn thing for anybody at any time. You give God the credit just like you used to give Santa Claus the credit. Oh, but you too grown for that now. You don't want to give Santa Claus the credit no more. But not too long ago you did. And Santa Claus didn't do a damn thing. Just like your God. Ain't, do, ain't done a damn thing for nobody at any time. You give God credit for something that this God never done. Just like Santa Claus. And you want me dead. You know why you want me dead? Because you don't want to be reminded of your foolishness. Because you know it's silly. I know it's silly. All of y'all know that it's silly. I could get on here, find some of y'all best believer in God, or whatever the subject is. Bring, you can bring them here. Make sure your day is clear. Because I would debate you all the way down to you can't say a damn thing. Till you are silent. Because the only thing y'all can do is play ring around the roses and use distraction tactics. I know how you work. Because you don't have a leg to stand on. You have no facts. You have no evidence. You have nothing. And so we will come here and I'll let you run. Use your distraction tactics. Play ring around the roses. I will do that with your happy ass until you can't run no more. I'll run you into the damn ground. Till there's nowhere left to go till you tire yourself out. But it makes no sense because when it's all said and done, those people who want to believe in Santa Claus, they're going to believe. You want to believe in your God, you're going to believe it no matter what I do. I can run you into the ground, show you with no doubt. It don't make any difference because that's what you want to believe. But you should be shame on yourself to wish death on somebody because you a damn fool. Because you want to believe all that kindergarten ass crap. That's your business. Also, it shows me what kind of people y'all really are. You're not loving. You're devils in disguise. You're demons. You are the Lucifer. You are the Satan. You should be shaming yourself. Vile. And then you come and you vile and you're nasty. And you profane. Ugly behaviors. Nasty people. But I'm supposed to listen to you. And you tell me how loving and peaceful and caring God is. Right. My uncle believed in Allah. To the day he took his last breath. My auntie and uncle. My uncle was having health problems. But he was stable. And the hospital was ready to let him go. They took the elevator down. Called a cab. The cab was waiting. He was in a wheelchair. And my aunt was smiling. They were saying goodbye to the doctors and thank you for helping him and things of that nature. And he was in the wheelchair talking about, you know, how things going to be better, whatever. Right before they got into the cab, 
he slumped over in the wheelchair. What's going on? Here's a man thought he was getting ready to go home and enjoy some more life. Just got out the hospital. Couldn't even make off the hospital property. He died right there in that wheelchair. All praise is due to Allah. Where was Master Farah Muhammad? My uncle died right there on the damn street. Couldn't even die in his bed. Right there on the street in a wheelchair. In his pajamas. How undignified. Shocking the hell out of his wife. She watched her husband die right there in front of her. So don't tell me about the wonderful thing and the power and the glory and all this stuff of your God. If you really want me to believe, then the first step is to show me that you are a good human being. And you're not. Y'all some rat bastards. Evil. Nasty. Trifling. You want to talk about homosexuals. And y'all do the same stuff that homosexuals do in their bedroom. You do in your bedroom. You are sodomite. Just like they are sodomites. Bunch of fake hypocrites. A gay, lesbian, homosexual person ain't never done a damn thing to me. I don't give a damn what the Bible say. Or what the Quran say. Or what your happy ass say. If a transgender, if a homosexual or any, any person, a crackhead, if they treat me right, I'm going to treat them right. They did not cause me any harm. The hell what y'all talking about. If I feel I can help them, I would do that. I would suggest to them. I'm not going to run around here and give them orders like you trying to give people orders. You better believe in God or Allah or Jesus or whatever. Give people orders and make threats trying to bully folks. I would take this 11 and a half and stick it up your rear end. And you can shoot me. So be it. I'm not your slave. And you're not going to bully me. I'm not scared of going to hell. I'm not scared of your threats. None of that. And you just believe. That's all you can tell me that you believe. There's no evidence you yourself going to heaven or the hereafter or to a better place. There's no evidence, you have no evidence to show that you're going to go to heaven either. You nasty rat, piece of trash, damn vomit eaters. That's all these people are, a bunch of vomit eaters. They regurgitate what somebody else said, what somebody else believed. You ain't never met God in your life. Never. Talk about what you feel. I don't give a damn about what you feel. Have you or have you not met God? Have you ever met Jesus or God or Allah or any of these people in your life? No. Something that you believe in because it make you feel good. Hell, a Popeye's chicken sandwich make people feel good. So what? Hell, sometimes when you take a dump, smell your own fart. Hell, sometimes that make you feel good. Who gives a damn? Who cares? Just because your fart make you feel good, do you think that make me want to smell it? <laughs> really? <laughs> no. So, I just want to let y'all know, you do not scare me. You do not scare me. You're not going to bully me. Or none of that. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like you and tell you a lie. Like, uh, 
I don't fear death and, and I'm so brave or whatever. But it, first of all, what's the sense of being afraid to die when it's inevitable? You're going to die whether you like it or not. So why, I mean, so why fear? So I'm to the point, I don't give a damn. If I die right now after this video, who gives a damn? I don't care. It's over. But guess what? You still here and still got to put up with all this, this insanity, this madness. You still got to be here and enjoy yourself in this, in this septic tank. At least for me, it's over. For Malcolm X, it's over. But look at all the crap since Farrakhan lived. Look at all the crap Farrakhan has put up with. Yeah, Malcolm is dead. There's an old saying, it's easy to die, hard to live. Malcolm X don't have to worry about paying bills. He don't have to worry about a job or getting a drink of water or somebody trying to kill him. You don't have to worry about nothing no more. You do. You can't even go to, you can't even go get a chicken sandwich. You might get stabbed. You got locks all on your door. The nation of Islam claim to have this all-powerful God. You got locks on your door, on your car door. You got locks everywhere because y'all because you're scared. You live in fear. You live in fear that somebody might try to take your life, take what you got, steal your car, steal your TV. You live in fear. Dead people don't live in fear. So wish death on me. Guess what? You really doing me a favor. Get it over with. Get it done and over with. Don't have to worry about listening and seeing your happy ass no more. It's over with. It's always done. But these are hypocrites. For those who are willing to listen, these are hypocrites. Beware of these kind of folks. They're nothing but leeches, parasites. And they're angry at you, they're angry at me because we refuse to allow them to suck our blood. They're nothing but vampires. If you don't mind Dracula sucking your blood, that's your business. Don't invite me to the party. Not interested. I only make enough blood for me. I might donate some blood to uh, the Red Cross or something like that now and then. These people are no good for us. I'm happy we have not been liberated. What's the sense of being liberated just for, just for us to go from one plantation, from one oppressor to another? That's the only thing that you'll be doing. Because you see the, you see the mindset you see the mentality of those who would be who would be in the dominant uh, echelon of the power structure. They they wouldn't be no better. Matter of fact, I guarantee you, they would be worse than the white man. They would be worse than white supremacy. So I just wanted to rant, get that off me, because. Because I just want to tell these people you, you, and make very clear. You don't scare me. I'm not going to be bullied. Uh, if I have to go to hell, so be it. I don't trip off stuff like that. I just, I just don't. You can wish death on me all that you want to. I'm going to die. Your happy ass going to die. Your dog going to die. Your goldfish going to die. Anything that lives is going to die sooner or later. So it don't make any difference. But one thing I, have, I do have in, uh, control of. I don't have to join your plantation. That's one thing I have control of. Because I would rather be dead 
then be on your plantation. Be your slave. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So on that note, damn, y'all was awfully quiet. <laughs> it was awfully quiet the last live stream. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I thank you for joining me. Thank you, Brother Gary. We're going to get together pretty, pretty soon. And uh, thank you, Brother Michael and those in the others in the chat room if I miss somebody. And I want to give a shout-out to YouTube and Facebook for giving me this opportunity. Shout-out to my uh, Facebook family, YouTube. and um, It's up to us. I see a fantastic, incredible future. And if we did the right thing, once we're able to accomplish what I could see, you'll start looking at each other like, damn, we could have done this long time ago. But see, there are forces and there are things out here in this world that taint our mindset, that taint our thinking. They don't want us to, they benefit from this filth. They benefit from all this garbage. So they don't want to see better human beings. And they're so stupid because a new change for the human being will make it even better for them. But they caught up in being materialistic and I'm better than a woman and the woman says I'm better than a man and you better than the goldfish and you better than the grizzly bear. We so better, better, better. And the bottom line is when it's all said and done, we all equal in the grave. So who, so who really better? The goldfish going to the grave. The chicken going to the grave. You going to the grave. The white people going to the grave. We all going to the grave. So I mean, so, so really who's better? Who's superior? The white man, the white race is the superior race. And his grave is right next to the slave. So, in the grand scheme of things, who really was better? When all of us going to end up in the ground. If you lucky, some of us not going to end up in the ground. Some of us are probably drowning in the sea. Or, or, or get blown to bits or, or whatever. So, in the grand scheme of things, who, who really better? Hey there, twin, what's up? I have never felt better and superior over nobody. I've never. I don't care how. I might be talented in, 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 a, in, in some kind of way. We all have our little talents or whatever. But your talented ass will be in a grave right next to the one that don't have any talent. <laughs> so in the grand scheme of things, who's better? We should be trying to help one another live the best life that we can. And so everybody can enjoy the few minutes we have on this planet to the best of our ability. Hey, what's up there, E-Dub? <laughs> hey, thank y'all. Y'all y'all make me feel good today. Uh, I just wanted to get that off my shoulder. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, hopefully, if death does not come for me, we'll be back and have another little talk. And uh, also, yeah, let me, before, before I leave, support our sister, Sister Noble. She has a, a site called Ancient Creation Myths. Support our brother Talib. Support our brother Gary. He's in the chat room. Support our sister Rashida Strober, the world's first dark-skinned activist. And hopefully all of us will be together December the 7th, 2019 for what I call Soul Liberation Day. Uh, I hope to have a real good time. The whole gang will be there live. And you want to know something? I actually met everybody. 
Sister Noble, of course y'all know, I know. Brother Gary, I met in person. Known Brother Gary for a long time. I know Brother Gary. Brother Talib. Sister Rashida. We all know. I met everybody. We know each other. So we want to get together Saturday, December the 7th, 2019. Civil Liberation Day. Bring us some inspiration. And hopefully uh, it might inspire us to come up with something to really kick off this Mississippi campaign because that's what I that's what we really need to do or maybe a, a, a smaller alternative that we could do with that said I'm already 5,000 as Dr. Cornelius always used to tell us as important I wish us love peace and so and so make sure that you like and so Hey, Sister Noble, what's up? Hey. <laughs> uh, make sure you make sure you subscribe. If you have not subscribed, make sure you like and all that kind of good stuff. Make you can even dislike if you want. It's all gravy. I'm out of here. I'm already 5,000. Peace.